account. In this video, we will learn about topics 13.1 to 13.4 from chapter 13, Kinematics of Particle, Newton's Second Law of Motion, and Application of Equations of Motion in Rectangular Coordinate System. So this slide gives you brief idea about the direction we are moving into. So chapter 12 is about kinematics of particle where we considered the motion without considering the forces. So we do not include forces in chapter 12. All we talked about is position, velocity and acceleration calculations in different coordinate system. Chapter 13 is an, is an extension of chapter 12. It's called kinematic, kinetics of particles. So in kinetics, we include the forces that are responsible for motion and we apply Newton's second law of motion that is sigma f equal to ma in different coordinate systems such as Cartesian, normal tangent, cylindrical, and polar. In chapter 14, we will learn kin kinetics of particle but using work energy concept, work energy principle where we'll calculate the work done by forces and apply uh, kinetic and potential energy equations. And chapter 15 is about kinetics of particle using impulse momentum approach where we will calculate how change in momentum results in impulse and vice versa. Quick recap of chapter 12. So in chapter 12 we have learned that we can define the position of the particle relative to a datum or the origin. The position is defined using position coordinate s. Derivative of position relative to time gives us velocity v. Derivative of velocity relative to time gives us acceleration a. And this is the third equation how acceleration, displacement, and velocity are related to each other. And we solve some problem where one of these quantities, either position, velocity, or acceleration, is given as a function of time, or the information is presented graphically. And we calculated the remaining parameters. But question here is, did we consider the forces, for example, friction between the tire and the road, or the traction force, which is responsible for the forward motion of the car? Did we consider the weight of the car? Did we consider any air drag or resistance applied to the car? No, we did not, because these are the forces, and we did not consider, and we do not consider forces in kinematic, uh, uh, in kinematics. So kinematics is just motion, no forces. But now, We'll talk about kinetics where we include the forces such as the friction, weight of the car, normal force coming from the road or any air drag or air resistance acting on the car and we will include all those forces and as a result of all those forces uh, we will equate that to mass time acceleration of a particle. So entire chapter 13 is all about sigma f equal to ma however we will apply this equation into rectangular coordinate system normal tangent, cylindrical, and polar coordinate system. In this video, we will apply sigma f equal to ma into rectangular coordinate system. Newton's law of motion, equations of motion, equations of motion for system of particles. Today's objective is write equations of motion for an accelerating body in rectangular coordinate system and draw the free body diagram and kinetic diagram for an accelerating body. Newton's second law can be written in mathematical form as sigma f equal to ma. With the summation of all the forces, blank forces are not included. And the answer is internal forces are not included. In sigma f, we include external forces and we include weight. The equation of motion of system of n particles written as sigma fi equal to mi ai where mag where ag indicates the acceleration of the center of mass of the body. So G stands for center of mass and AG is acceleration of the center of mass. Few applications. So in this case, uh, the person is uh, coming towards the ground using the parachute and the different forces that act on the person are weight W which brings him down. But at the same time, FD is the drag force uh, which applies the force in the upward direction which helps to lower the speed at which the person falls on the ground. So how can we calculate knowing the drag force? If we know the value of this drag force, how can we determine the acceleration or velocity of the uh, person at any given point in time? And that answer is we need to apply sigma f y, assuming that this is vertical direction y, equal to m times a y. So by applying sigma f equal to m y a y, we can calculate the acceleration of the particle. And once we have the acceleration, 
from that we can calculate velocity and position another application the baggage truck a tows a cart b and cart c if we know the frictional forces developed at the driving wheels of the truck that means here for example we know that force f or traction force how can we calculate the acceleration of the truck again it's the same formula we need to consider the weight of the truck itself weight of the cart b and weight of the cart c and all three weights and corresponding like friction forces if we know all the friction forces uh, or the normal for um, and the normal forces we can apply the equation sigma f x equal to m a x if x is the horizontal direction as shown in figure then using this equation we can calculate acceleration horizontal acceleration of the truck and once we have that we can calculate the uh, velocity as well as the position can we determine the horizontal force acting on the coupling between the truck and cart b so yes we can also determine the force acting between these two because all these are connected by rigid links so whatever is the acceleration of truck a same is the acceleration of cart b so once we calculate this acceleration we can once again apply equation sigma f equal to m a where a is the acceleration of the truck or the cart but we, we can include only mass of the cart for that matter and we can calculate the force applied at the coupling a freight elevator is lifted using motor attached to the cable and pulley system zone so the total weight of the elevator is w which is acting downward that is being supported by tension force in this cable so we can add all these tension forces in w and if this direction is vertical direction we can apply sum of forces in y direction is equal to mass times y acceleration and from that we can calculate the acceleration of the elevator so this is recap of three laws of motion we already discussed that in chapter 12 so we can skip this slide for now now this slide is very important because sigma f equal to ma now we need to draw two diagrams for kinetics one is called free body diagram that we have already done previously and the second one is called kinetic diagram which indicates the acceleration of the body and then when we apply this equation sigma f equal to ma in one of the coordinate system we need to include all the different types of forces such as weight, normal force, spring, external force, friction, tension in the cable, etc. And for acceleration, we will consider the acceleration either in Cartesian format, that is AX, AY, AZ, if we use rectangular coordinate system or Cartesian coordinate system, or we will consider acceleration as tangential acceleration, AT, normal acceleration, AN, if it is, if it is normal tangent coordinate system. If it is cylindrical and polar coordinate system, then the acceleration is AR, radial acceleration, A theta, transverse acceleration, and AZ, which is Z acceleration. And we have learned in chapter 12 how to calculate uh, these acceleration values using different equations. So sigma f equal to ma has two parts. Left side of the equation, we get all the forces from free body diagram, and right side of the equation, we get from kinetic diagram. Also, when two particles, we have studied in chapter 12 that when two particles attract each other, there is mutual attraction force between them, which can be calculated using this equation. This is typically uh, very useful uh, when, like, we apply this to astronomical analysis. For example, uh, the satellites between the forces between the satellite and the Earth, or between the Moon and the Earth. Okay. Remember that weight W is equal to mg where g is gravitational at, at acceleration 9.81 meter per second square or 32.2 feet per second square if it is depending on which coordinate system or which unit system we use so key points here we apply newton's second law of motion we consider the mass as a resistance to change in velocity of the object weight depends on the gravitational field which is w equal to mg and unbalanced forces causes the acceleration of the object and the steps are apply the appropriate coordinate system we call this inertial coordinate system such as rectangular normal cylindrical draw free body diagram indicate all the forces draw kinetic diagram indicate the acceleration of the particle and apply equations of motion. So this equation sigma f equal to ma is called an equation of motion 
now this is the vector equation we can break down into sc scalar equation depending on the coordinate system that we use okay so let's look at this example uh, that the block is attached with the spring uh, at this point let's call this point o now initially when this force is not applied block is in vertical position as shown here now when when this 100 newton force is applied block slides in the horizontal direction on this surface and what we need to draw is we need to draw the free body diagram and kinetic diagram of this block and we need to find uh, the acceleration of the uh, of the block so first step is define the initial inertial coordinate system so we use xy coordinate system or cartesian coordinate system fixed to the ground then we draw the free body diagram of the block so 100 newton is the applied force because block is resting on the surface that surface is applying normal force w equal to mg is the weight force of the block so that's the third force and this force here is the spring force because of the deformation of the spring what we haven't included here is friction force because we have not been given the value of coefficient of friction so this is called our free body diagram we define the coordinate system indicate all the forces now the next step is draw kinetic diagram so in kinetic diagram we draw the block and indicate f equal to ma so right side of the equation which is mass of the block is 25 kilogram multiplied by acceleration and the arrow indicates the acceleration of the block in the horizontal direction we can be more precise and write this as max there is no vertical acceleration there is only horizontal acceleration so you can apply the same concept to different free body diagrams as uh, shown in the quiz here and practice 